what is the cause of depression what are the factors responsible for development of a depressive episode in the last video we talked about the symptoms of depression and how to identify it uh, in this video let's talk about the causes now depression and for that matter any psychiatric disorder is caused by a multitude of factors we often use the term biopsychosocial model for depression uh, which means there are biological factors involved there are psychological factors involved and there are social factors involved let's talk about the biological factors first genetics plays a significant role in the development of depression it has been found that uh, family members of a patient with depression have a threefold increased risk of development of depression in comparison to the general population so genetics is playing a role here in fact now with the advent of science we even know about the genes the particular genes that are responsible uh, one of the genes uh, that is responsible with increased risk is what we call as serotonin transporter gene now this serotonin transporter gene comes in different variants and it has been found that certain variants increase the risk of depression in the people who carry them so there are strong biological or genetic factors involved in the development of depression in fact uh, when a person gets depressed there are a lot of changes that happen in the body there is increased secretion of a hormone called as cortisol which is also known as stress hormone in certain areas of the brain such as dorsolateral prefrontal cortex there is increase there is decreased blood flow or reduced blood flow there are changes happening in many other brain areas like hippocampus and of course we always talk about the neurotransmitters the three famous neurotransmitters the serotonin norepinephrine and dopamine it has been uh, hypothesized that decreased levels of these three neurotransmitters is responsible for development of depression and the medications that we use often target these three neurotransmitters so these biological factors are involved apart from this stress plays an important role uh, it has been found that in a significant number of patient stress is what triggers the episode now now things like loss of job or relationship issue divorce financial problem all these stressors can trigger the episode interestingly if a person develops many multiple episodes of depression it has been found that the latter episodes of depression are less and less dependent upon stressor they may develop spontaneously so say first episode of depression or second episode of depression are usually triggered by a stressor but seventh episode or eighth episode they may be spontaneous for no good reason or for no clear cut uh, without the without the presence of any clear cut stressor that is why it is so important to control this illness in the beginning itself because as the number of episodes increases uh, it tends to become more automatic in nature in the in the sense that it gets triggered without any reason these are the biological factors there are also strong psychological factors involved now when we talk about the psychological theories of depression we usually talk about the cognitive theory now cognitive theory says that people with depression tend to have many automatic negative thoughts uh, their mind keeps on having negative thoughts which are automatic in the sense that they just pop out for no good reason and these negative automatic thoughts uh, play a significant role in maintaining the symptoms for example say say a student is reading he is reading a chapter and he read a line and he was not able to understand it suddenly a negative thought would pop up that you cannot understand even a single line you are no longer good for studies you would fail the examination you would not be able to have a good career everybody would call you a loser all these negative thoughts popping up in the mind and what would be the result of these negative thoughts popping the person will immediately start feeling sad and what would be the behavior he might uh, keep the book aside he would stop he would stop studying now these negative automatic thoughts that keep on pop, keep up uh, keep on popping in the mind they are responsible for maintaining this mood state this mood state and it is also responsible for many behavioral changes so this is about the psychological theory of depression or cognitive theory of depression so as you can see depression is a complex illness multiple factors are involved multiple structures of brain are involved multiple things are happening uh, some people tend to brush depression aside saying that it is nothing you must have heard this that depression is not an illness uh, if you if you want you can come out of depression you can snap out of depression 
no that is not true depression is a complicated illness and like other disorders it has certain things happening inside your body while while you are experiencing depression multiple things are happening inside your body and you must take the symptoms seriously and take treatment in the next video we will talk about the treatment of depression thank you